All right, grasshoppers, I would like to review the gallop step or the pendulum, whatever you want to call it. Let's review it. Even with the babies crying in the background. We're going to act like we did not hear that because it is a family dojo. So, Adrian, please hurt. So, the gallop step is when you step the leaf it out, rear foot comes in, and then you step back to your original stance. You're just galloping, shuffling, just doing this. So, here with Adrian, I'll have him gallop forward and I'll just gallop back. Just follow each other. I'll stop, and he'll go back, I'll go forward. Boom. And we're doing it twice. Just gallop, 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 gallop. So, knowing how to do that, and that's just a very common athletic maneuver for the human body. You gotta learn how to gallop. Now, how do you tie that into punches? What I would like to have happen here is, once I step out and the rear foot comes in, I'm loading my hip. So once that hip is loaded, I want to come down with two. Jab, cross, boom, boom. But again, I'm loading my rear hip. So you'll stay there for me, sir. I'll let gallop in, rear hip's loaded. Jab, cross, taking the power from my hip, transferring up through my body into the punches. And I'm just galloping in. I'm making that exaggerated right now, but live, it'll just be here. You know, we gallop in short and sweet. So I'll back up a little bit and I'll have Adrian do the same thing. I'll have him gallop in and throw the two. Beautiful. Just loading his rear foot. So do a couple slow for me, please. So he steps in and then load there. His rear foot gets loaded. Now the power's on his rear hip all the way up through into the punches. He's just loading the hip. Oh, just overthrowing it. And again, I'm exaggerating it, but that's what happens. You load the rear foot and then just throw that power into your punches. But with that in mind now, watch him go slow for me, sir. Load that rear hip and put that power into the punch. Now, I wish we had a nice little cool computer diagram where you could maybe draw a little orange line or something from the floor all the way up into the punch. Can you do that? Can you edit that? I'll put him on the spot there, but if you can do that, that'd be nice. So again, he'll gallop in, load the rear foot for the two. And right now we're doing it for the two, but you can also do it for the hook cross. See ya, sir. Have a good night. What we like to do, or I, I personally like, like this better off the hook cross. Basically, you're basically just pulling yourself in off the hook, loading again your hip for that cross. So doing it off the hook cross feels better for me. Let's have Adrian do a couple with the hook cross. How'd that one feel? Do you like that one? Personally like the, the two, two, four. So he likes the two better. So let's do a couple with the two. Very nice. And I don't care if you like it off the two or the hook cross, whatever combination it is, but just making sure you can fluidly execute that motion. I don't really care what your throw is, but being able to fluidly load that rear hip for me, sir, and transfer that, that hip, so gallop in, just gallop in. Loading that rear hip and transferring that weight forward into whatever strike it may be, but having that ability and that coordination is what I'm looking for. How are you transfer that to whatever technique is up to you? And we can just do it with the cross. And you should probably just do that. Just gallop in for the cross, please. Boom. So that's what we're doing. So I'll do one as well. I'll gallop in, rear foot, boom. Putting that power from the floor boom, into my cross. And the two on the hook originally, or, or the jab on the hook originally is just a feeder for the cross anyway. So uh, as far as the two, boom, boom. Or if you're in the hook cross, the first punch is basically just a feeder. So you're loading that power punch is what you're looking to do. So let's gallop into the cross, please, Adrian. Beautiful. Now let's do it with the two. Very nice. Let's do it with the hook cross, please. Very nice. So just getting that gallop step down is a huge piece for combative sports because now he's attacking with it forward. We're going to attack with it backwards or let's say he attacks forward with the two and then gallop backwards for defense. So it's just being able to close the distance and get out with the gallop step. He's going to close the distance with the two and then just exit with the gallop step. So he's in striking with it and then using it to exit. So pretty simple drill here but just being able to gallop in and then out. That's what we're looking to do. Now we'll tie punches into it, boom, and then exit. So that's the gallop step and my perception on some of the details that are incorporated with that technique. Adrian, thank you, sir. Good job, baby. There we go, grasshoppers, enjoy.